No, I'm Mike! not. Mike, I'm all right. Please hurry. Mike! 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 My man Mike was just in the background like, na, 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 na. Because he know what type of crazy Karen he got at home. And unfortunately, many people like Mike have to deal with Karens and many other people, especially people of color who are just doing things like attending a barbecue or maybe just playing outside on the streets or just going about life, being themselves, existing. Karens are everywhere. Karens are very dangerous and you got to be careful. But I think that this probably is one of the most ridiculous Karen videos I've ever seen because my man literally wasn't moving. My question is, what was she doing in front of the car in the first place? Probably trying to block him from entering his own property or something because, you know, she's never seen him there before. So now it's her civic duty to get in front of the car and cause problems. We just heard it on the radio. The cops are already coming. Can I please go? You can't. The cops are I can. I absolutely can. Okay. Well, I'm just telling you, if you want to go for the cops are I want him arrested. Now, listen, when you're in the wilderness and you come across a Karen like this, I suggest you back up and head the other way. Don't even sit there and try to record her because you, you never know what the police are going to do when they pull up, which is the whole thing about this. You know what I'm saying? Karens cause a lot of trouble. Sometimes they just get made to look ridiculous, but sometimes it may not even be worth recording them. I know if somebody was doing something like that to me, unless I absolutely had to go forward, I'd just back up and be like, OK, I'm not dealing with this. That's the type of person I am. Unless I have to like really physically defend myself, I'm not. I'm not really bothered with with people. I, you know, people can say what they want. People can do what they want. Even when I'm at the club or something, or if I go to a concert, if it's over capacity, I'm not gonna sit there and argue with with everybody and try to get them to get me in. I'm gonna just you know take the L and I'm gonna go to another spot. So that's how I recommend that you handle your carriers. It's gonna make you run over you too. Chase, get Marvin, please, go Marvin, please, go Marvin. And the other thing, think about how much time it would have taken the police to get there. It, at least five minutes, probably more like 10. It looked like they were in the middle of the nowhere. Who knows? But the thing is, is that, again, what would she have done in between that time? Was she just going to stay on the phone and, you know, whoever, the operator, they would have been, they would have tried to ask her, well, what's going on? And she was just screaming, screaming, screaming. Well, by the time police got there, if they would have saw that she clearly wasn't ran over and that there was nothing wrong with her and the fact that my man was recording, I mean, they probably would have just showed up and been like, ma'am, go home. You've been drinking, ma'am. Are you on drugs right now, ma'am? Ma'am, ma'am, go home. <laughs> but no, nah, this is definitely one of the funniest Karen videos I've personally ever seen. And shout out to my man, Mike, minding his business, just dancing. He, he probably doesn't want to sign the divorce papers because I don't know, maybe they, they, you know, they've been together for a long time and it is what it is. Maybe they have children, but shout out to my man, Mike.